Hi everyone. So uh, the last time I gave you guys an update, I believe it was at 33 or 34 weeks when they told me that I was going to have to go in twice a week to get those um, special tests done to make sure she's growing and everything and I was freaking out. So right now I am 37 weeks and two days so everything has been going awesome. Uh, so basically every time, every twice a week I go for BPP and Dopplers and they check a couple things. They check her, that she's practicing her breathing, so you can like see her little diaphragm move up and down. They check the umbilical cord flow, like the sound waves or whatever, and like that's always been good. They check her heart rate. They check her movement. They make sure she's moving a certain amount of movements within a certain amount of time. And there's one more thing that they check during this. Oh, and the fluid levels. They always check the fluid levels um, for each, I guess, the four quadrants they check. So they check your fluid levels, and that's what they do twice a week. And then every other week, they do that plus a growth scan. So I'm definitely going to insert, like, I've been trying to take pictures of the screen with all her little, like, measurements and stuff from each time and, like, the fluid level. So I'll try to, like, insert as many as I got. There are some times where, like, the ultrasound tech would, like, clear the screen and I couldn't take a picture of anything. You know, I'll insert the right information, like, as I'm speaking, like, over here or somewhere because I don't remember exactly. But the most recent one I went to was yesterday. So that one, obviously, I do remember. And that was at, at exactly 37 weeks one day. And she was 4 pounds, I mean, uh, 5 pounds and 5 ounces. So I'm, like, so happy with that. So basically what they told me is that she is SGA, small for gestational age, versus IUGR, which is intrauterine growth restriction. So those two things are really hard for the doctors to differentiate. But there are some things that will show IUGR, which is a little more dangerous, is when they also want to induce you and they, uh, you know, something is actually going on inside of you that's not giving the baby enough nutrition. Whereas SGA, uh, small for gestational age, could just be genetics and everything's healthy, she, she's growing good, she's just small, genetically. Sorry, I am so out of breath still. She has not dropped. She is still so up high. <laughs> so, some things that they told me that they look out for in IUGR babies is the abdominal circumference being much smaller compared to like the head circumference because the baby's body is going to give all of its nutrition naturally to protect its brain. So the baby's head might be measuring a lot larger than, say, the stomach would be measuring. Other things they look for is just overall uh, not keeping up with the growth chart. So, for example, my baby, when they first discovered she was really small, she was in the fourth percentile. So they've done three growth scans since then. And every single time that I've gotten a growth scan done, she's been in the fourth percentile. So she kept up her growth. She's growing according to how she's supposed to grow. So if they said, for example, say you get your, your first growth scan done and they find that, you know, she's at fourth percentile, which is what happened to me and I was freaking out. And then you go for your next one in two weeks and they drop to the first percentile. Then that's a bigger red flag because the baby is really not growing well. So for the last three growth scans, 
which is over a month and a half, she has kept her fourth percentile. She's gained the amount of weight that they want her to gain at each appointment. From what I remember, I'll try to say it again. I think it was the first one was like three pounds, 12 ounces. The next one was like four pounds, seven ounces. And the next one after that was like five pounds, five ounces. So they said that they might actually even let me go to full term, which is amazing. They might just let me go into labor naturally, which I think if they do that, I'm going to go beyond my due date because it's my first baby. She's super high up. They checked if I was dilated at 37 weeks, and I wasn't expecting to be, but I wasn't at all. So that was expected, but not not a big deal. You know what? I, I'm like just so happy that everything's been going well. She's healthy. She's still tiny, but she's healthy. Her estimated birth weight, if she goes to 40 weeks based on like her growth so far, they estimated was 6 pounds... 12 ounces, which is big. That's bigger than I was. I was born at 42 weeks at 6'6". Six, six. So that's that's more than, you know, whatever. But they were explaining to me that weight actually has nothing to do with percentile. Percentile is head circumference, stomach circumference, length of the femur bone, and one more thing. It's like another measurement of the head, a different measurement of the head. So all of hers have been consistently two to three weeks behind. But every week, it's two to three weeks behind. So at 37 weeks when I had her scan, she was measuring at like 35, 34 weeks, which was normal for her. And she's been strong ever since then. Um, I do feel a lot of movement. I feel her kicking a lot, especially at night. It's definitely kicking. It's not like large movements anymore. And... She's head down. She's been head down since 33 weeks at my first scan. She hasn't moved since that, so that's another good thing. <sighs> yeah, but everything's just been going so well. I'm so happy. Uh, her nursery is completely done. If you want to check out her nursery reveal, it's in my other video that I posted like two or three weeks ago. Um, we are completely ready for her. I have the hospital bag in the car because they told me I had to have one ready for her just in case, you know, they want to take her out. Uh, her bassinet is set up. Everything's ready for her. So whenever she's ready, we're ready. Uh, it's getting super excited. Hmm. As for symptoms, I honestly feel great. It's, it's insane. I've been working a lot less, obviously. I think this is going to be my last week of work. I've been saying it's going to be my last week since May 1st. My due date is the 31st. And I was like, oh, not May, sorry, March. I was like, oh, March 1st, give me my last day. And I was like, mm, all right, we'll do a week. March 7th will be my last day. And then I'm like, mm, all right, March 14th. <laughs> so I think I'm finally going to have my last day is March 14th. Because, you know, she still they still could want to take her out early. It's still up in the air. They said they're going to take it week by week and see what happens. Um, what else? So symptom-wise... I feel really good. I'm still able to, like, move, bend, sit, stand, walk. I'm not really running anymore, though. I stopped running around 33 weeks because mm, I've been having, like, pains in my hips and, like, my groin area, and running is just excruciating. I feel like my legs are going to give out. So I did have to stop on that. But other than that, I feel pretty damn good to be this pregnant. And I still look so small. I'll definitely show you a belly shot. At 37 weeks, I'm, I think they say like pre, they say, I think they call it full term, but pre full term or something. There's a term for it, but I, I still feel awesome, which is great. So I'll definitely show you guys a belly shot. What else has been going on? I think that's it. So I'll show you belly. Okay, this is 37 weeks. Maybe if I stand up, we can get a better shot. Okay, this is it. Here's with the pants. Sometimes people will get like a better view like that. Pants. And pants down. It's just like the line from my pants because they're a little tight. 
But that is 37 weeks, and I still feel like my belly is somewhat small. But everybody carries differently, so... Yeah. That is it for this little update, and I'm definitely going to try to record the labor and delivery. I'm going to try my best. I don't know how that's going to go. I really, really do want the birth of our first daughter on video. So I'm going to try to, like, set something up in the hospital. I don't know if they're going to let us or not, but if they do, I definitely will. Something else I've noticed is that my face is so red. Like, I have no makeup on right now at all, none. But, like, you could just see, like, I'm so flushed here, and that's, like, all the time. I thought that was, like, blood pressure or something, but my blood pressure has consistently been perfect. So... I have no idea. Maybe it's that extra blood flow. My skin has been pretty bad. But other than that, doing good. Alright, that's it for now.